Andre, it's so nice to meet you again, my old friend. And what's new bringing this Oshkosh 2025? Airflow, how nice to see you again. A year ago, exactly, just after the Atlantic crossing with the reason uh, Super Veloce with the new 916, uh, we broke every record possible, 11 and a half hours over the Atlantic Ocean, no refueling, only 43 gallons at speed, uh, you know, 300 kilometers an hour at every speed. These numbers, people thought they were impossible. Well, they are possible. And this year, uh, people took notice of our airplane. And tomorrow night, we've been uh, nominated to a bit for a big award. And uh, if people will stay tuned, We'll probably hear the news that uh, uh, we might be eligible to winning the big award of EAA, probably one of the biggest awards in aviation, the Raspid Award. So stay tuned for tomorrow evening. Today uh, I'm going to show you the reason Super Veloce. Uh, there is uh, some new features, uh, some new information that people should know. First of all, uh, yesterday the Secretary of Transport in the United States came here to Oshkosh to announce the big announcement that everybody has been waiting for is the implementation of the new Mosaic rules. What does that mean for Reason and Porto Aviation? Uh, as you know, Porto Aviation is focused on delivering uh, uh, top of the top uh, aircraft with uh, safety, performance and uh, comforts. So uh, we couldn't do until now because uh, uh, a light sport aircraft didn't allow to have a retractable gear, didn't allow to have a pitchable prop and the power and the speed of the reason uh, it was too much for, for the category. So now with, uh, with the new mosaic uh, which probably take still about a year uh, you can expect to have uh, the reason uh, coming to America under a new category. And uh, that is what, uh, that's what everybody has been waiting for. That's what Reason uh, fan have been waiting for. Yeah, that's amazing. The mosaic live yesterday. Yeah, I filmed that and it's so exciting. Um, and I'm so excited to see your new plane. Can you show me around? So Airflow, I know you like playing so much. Uh, uh, let's start from every tip. Uh, uh, here we have a, a special lighting that uh, would allow to have uh, more visibility and uh, it has a double function. It has a side uh, flashing and then it has a forward uh, flashing. So uh, one of our main features is the, is the, uh, the kind of flaps that we have. Uh, as you see, we don't have any hinges showing. Our flaps are fully retractable inside and, uh, and the way the airflow comes over the, um, the wing makes it very, very efficient. Uh, we have three notches flaps. We regularly don't use more than two. The plane is uh, so benign that can land with two. The three is for extra short. Uh, um, the, I would like to show you the cabin again uh, and how much space. We are probably the largest in the category. Uh, I've been sitting uh, with Alberto uh, 11 and a half hours into this cockpit and uh, we arrive in Goose Bay uh, after crossing the Atlantic Ocean and we jumped out uh, like uh, two kids uh, coming out of a car. So that's what makes the, uh, the, the reason unique. The reason unique uh, uh, is so unique because of the comfort and the, and the missions that you can do. You can go the fastest if you want, or you can go slow and economy. Uh, I like to spend if, if just a two minutes about telling you about what is uh, Porto Vision all about. Porto Vision about is like a family. Uh, there is a team behind of engineers, of te technicals, and uh, people uh, in the workshop that. Uh, they manually build the airplane to the highest uh, level. Uh, um, Alberto is the CEO and designer of, um, of the reason, has uh, had a vision of the company growing and the company, uh, you know, uh, going to the ne next level. So uh, that's what we're doing at Porto Aviation. And uh, I have to thank all the team that is behind, left at home, working hard. Let's continue with the fuselage. The fuselage, as you see, uh, one of the big questions is said, oh, but Andrea, but it looks like a glider. Well, as some of you might know, I'm a, a, gliding, a glider pilot. I, I race in the national uh, championships uh, uh, with another Alberto, Alberto Cironi. Uh, and uh, we've been able to, you know, uh, 
to be ranking quite high in the in the double seater plane. Uh, so when you look at the tail and uh, and it looks at it like a glider, that what does that mean? That means that the efficiency is going to be close to a glider. And in fact, the reason has an efficiency um, for the 912 uh, 23 to 1 and for the 9, 916 20 to 1. And people say, oh, but that's like a glider. Can you believe it? A glider efficiency, but then at a, at a speed that, uh, you know, that it, it, the new speed uh, that we've been testing is 450 kilometers an hour uh, uh, in that range. And uh, this is only capable uh, an airplane can only be capable when it's engineered from the nose to the tail uh, with one uh, main focus in mind, efficiency, fluid dynamics uh, study of the, of the fuselage. The V-tail is uh, our main feature. Uh, it's a very unique feature. Uh, at the moment, I don't think there are any light sport aircraft uh, with this uh, feature. Uh, everybody knows why the V-tail is very important for drag um, at the intersection, the less intersection points you have in a in a design and the less drag you have. Um, we've been testing it with uh, new clients uh, because everybody asks about uh, how big nine is the, the reason. The reason it uh, behaves very benign, uh, it has a wonderful uh, um, behavior close to stalling speed. Uh, we tried, we tested, you know, at very low speed, uh, the behavior, it's, uh, it's wonderful. And uh, that is what we like when people come and try the reason, we say, once you try it, you can't go back. You can't go back to any other plane. I'm, I'm here, I'm very proud to introduce you, a very loyal customer and not only a friend, uh, but as someone that uh, for the very first time uh, flew the reason in the AirVenture Cup race. Uh, the Cup race is a very well known uh, race and the reason has never uh, uh, participated, so now maybe in the future we have a new horizon for the reason. James, tell us a little bit the, the experience uh, that you lived. Thanks, Andrea. It was very exciting, as you say. This race has been going for 27 years. Uh, what's interesting as a starting point is they had to create a class for us. Why? Because we we're a small displacement engine with retractable gear, and of course, we're very fast. So that was new to the Air Cup race. You wouldn't think, after all these years, and 120 different airframes were in the race this year, and we had this kind of unique class they had to create for us. We had a ton of fun. First of all, the camaraderie is unbelievable. I imagine. The, the aircraft that you get to see in the race, the pilots that you get to hang out with, you, you don't get that. In a way, it's kind of like a mini air venture for a couple of days. You get two days with 120 aircraft and some great people, and it was just a lot of fun. And, of course, we have a trophy to prove our success. Let me get that out of the way. So here's an interesting, whether you need this or not, our trophy is not engraved. It was the only one that's not. Why? Because they had to create this class for us, and they didn't have a trophy prepared for our class. So they're going to, they're sending us the plaque. But and uh, we're what I'd like to add is that uh, this is maybe a beginning. Uh, unfortunately, the reason it's a, like a Lone Star cannot be compared to others because we are a league of, on, 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 of our own. But uh, as we said with James the other day, we really challenge the other. Um, uh, we need to confront ourselves with a competition on a, on, a, on a good ground, on the same level ground. So I think now with this uh, new category, uh, other aircraft can come and confront each other and learn from the performance and then uh, uh, you know, compete on the same ground. So this is, a, I hope it's a beginning of a, a long of a series uh, races. Yes. Uh, so stay tuned for next year. Well, you know, hopefully James, I'm sure he had a great time, but we might have more reason and we might have other competitors. We will be in the race next year. We will be in the race, as Andrea says, with more reasons. But before we cut off here, I want to say I'm challenging JMB as our competitor that I highly respect. They have a beautiful product, beautiful airplane, but I'm challenging them to join us next year for the F Cup race.